every person has a skeleton, and the skeleton is made of bones. The reason why we have a skeleton is that we need our bones to keep us upright. So if we tried to stand up without having a skeleton, then we'd flop over like an overcooked noodle, and we wouldn't be able to do anything. So in our head, we have the skull, and then the long, long set of bones is our spine that comes down from the head all the way down to our bum. And then we have our ribs, and the ribs are very important because underneath our ribs we've got quite a few very important organs such as our heart and our lungs. So the point of the ribs is to keep our heart and lungs safe. So nothing bad will happen to them if something happened to us. For example, if we fell. Bones are made of a hard material called calcium and this is why they're really really hard, really really tough, so it's very good to have our bones protecting our more vulnerable parts because you need quite a, uh, quite a big blow to your body in order to break your bones. Those who have broken their bones will know you need to, um, you need to have a really big accident in order to break your bones. Our fingers and hands in general are made of teeny tiny little bones and if you take a look at your hands you will notice that each knuckle is made of a bone of its own. Tiny tiny bones. Then at the bottom of our spine we've got our pelvic bone and that is where our pelvis is. And onto the pelvic bone are attached two of our biggest bones called the femurs. So the femur is the bone that is inside your thigh. And then we have the tibia, which is on the front side of your leg, and fibula on the back side of your leg. And similarly to your hands and fingers, our feet are also made of tiny little bones. And also if you have a little look at your feet and if you feel them, you can feel the individual little bones there. How interesting is that? So let's see, we have the skull inside our head here. Then we have our spine that goes down from the skull. Our pelvic bone is the bottom of the spine. The femur, one of the biggest bones and the tibia on the front of our leg. So as I said before, bones are made of calcium, and one of the best ways to keep your bones nice and strong is to get calcium from your food, and you can get this from milk products such as yoghurt and cheese, and of course milk. Then let's take a look at our muscles. We have quite a few muscles in our bodies. In fact we have over 650 different types of muscles in our bodies. And these muscles are mostly attached to our bones. So when the muscle moves, it makes the bone move, and that makes our whole body move. So this is why we need bones and muscles to work together in order for us to move around. One of the best ways to keep your muscles healthy is by exercising. Um, this is very important for both bones and muscles. So in order for bones and muscles to work together as they do, we do need to keep them nice and healthy. So exercise is one of the best ways to keep our muscles and bones healthy. So let's take a look at what kinds of muscles we have in our body. Here where our chest is, we've got the pectoral muscle right there. One on both sides, there we go. So two pectoral muscles. And then underneath those, we've got something that many of us would like to have. Uh, some of us do, some of us don't. The abdominals, or the abs. It's also known as the six-pack. And then on our arms, we've got our biceps. Those are the ones that you bulge when you bend your arm. Those are the biceps. Then we've got our quadriceps, which are attached to the femur bones. So these are the ones that are on our thighs. They are some of the bigger muscles in our body. And we've got plenty of muscles everywhere. Basically, 
everywhere we can move, there is a muscle that enables that movement. So we are genuinely quite full of muscle. We even have muscles on our face. And did you know that you need 12 different muscles to smile? Now, while bones are made of calcium, muscles are made of protein. And we can get protein from eating things like meat and fish and chicken. Also, um, eggs. Eggs are very good for protein. And um, also different nuts, beans and peas. Thank you.